Hi there. Now here we have a question on speed time graphs. What I'll do is I'll read through the question just in case it's unclear for you. But uh, at any time, just pause the video if you'd like to have a go. When you come back, I will take you through the work solution. So what we've got here then is a car is traveling along a straight horizontal road. And the car takes 120 seconds to travel between two sets of traffic lights, which are 2,145 meters apart. The car starts from rest at the first set of traffic lights and moves with constant acceleration for 30 seconds until its speed is 22 meters per second. The car maintains this speed for t seconds and the car then moves with constant deceleration coming to rest at the second set of traffic lights. And what we've got to do is, in part A, sketch a speed time graph for the motion of the car between the two sets of traffic lights for two marks, and then go on in part B to find the value of t for three marks. So if you'd like to uh, have a go at this then, I'll just give you, as I say, a moment to pause the video, and uh, when you come back, we'll just work through that solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, don't forget you can always fast forward if you'd like to just get an overall uh, view of the solution. But for the speed time graph, let's just draw up our axes. Have a vertical axis, label it say V, and the units would be meters per second. So that's our speed. And then for the horizontal axis, this represents the time, t, and the units would be in seconds. Now we're told that the car takes 120 seconds to travel between the two sets of traffic lights. So let's just put down here that this is 120 seconds. And we'll have the zero seconds there. Now. We're then told that the car starts from rest at the first set of traffic lights and moves with constant acceleration then for 30 seconds until its speed is 22 meters per second. Well, 30 seconds then is a quarter of 120. So we'll just put this, say, about there. It should be roughly about a quarter. So that's 30. And we'll put up on this axis 22 for 22 meters per second. So What's happening then is the car starts from rest and then it's got constant acceleration. So we're expecting a straight line going from here to this point here. And then we're told that the car maintains this speed for t seconds. So if I was just to uh, come down on the graph down to the 30 here, okay, it's just slightly out there. Let's just move it across a bit, okay, just there. Then if we carry on at a constant speed for a further t seconds, let's say that further t seconds takes us up to, say about here, 30 plus t then is what that time's going to be. Then the speed is constant, so we'll get that going horizontally like so, till we're just above this point here. Let's mark that in with a dotted line. Not that you have to, but uh, that's what we would get. And then we're told the car moves with constant deceleration coming to rest at the second set of traffic lights. So if it's decelerating constantly, it's going to be a straight line down to the 120. So there's our speed time graph then for the motion of the car between the two sets of traffic lights. Now we come on to the second part, part B, and we're asked to find the value of t. So at this point, if you'd like to uh, have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, well, welcome back if you had a go at that. The answer for t is 75. So uh, I'll show you how we get t equals 75. 
We're given that the total distance travelled by the car is 2,145 metres. And on a speed time graph, this is represented as the area underneath the graph. So we can set up an equation here. We can see then that 2,145 is the area then bounded by this graph. And we can do this either by working out the areas of each of the triangles and the rectangle here, adding them together. Or you could just do the quick method, which is just to work out the area of a trapezium, because this is a trapezium. And that's what I'm going to do. Use the formula for a trapezium, which is the sum of the parallel sides. So that would be this length, which is t, okay, plus this length here, which is 120. So it's the sum of the parallel sides divided by 2, multiplied by the distance between the parallel sides, which will be this height here. And that's going to be 22. So put that in brackets there and multiply it by 22. Now the 2 will cancel quite nicely into the 22, which will be 11 then. And then if I divide both sides by 11, it leaves us with t plus 120 equals 2145 divided by 11. And if you work that out, you end up with t plus 120 equals 195. Take away 120 from both sides now, and 195 take away 120 leaves us with 75. Okay?